Hey guys, it's Greg with Buy the Bootstraps, btbootstraps.com. It's been a long while since I made a video on YouTube. Uh, been a long while since I posted anything on YouTube. Uh, primarily because my videos have been taken down, they've been demonetized, which I wasn't getting money from them anyway. Um, and I've been blocked essentially from YouTube. But I wanted to make one anyway for a couple of reasons. One, I want to get back in the habit of saying my opinion. And two, um, I really don't give a damn about YouTube anymore, or at least the censorship of YouTube. I don't care what people think. I don't care what you think. No offense. I just, I want to be able to speak what I want to say, and I have a First Amendment right, but as anyone else, and I feel like there should be an opportunity for people who have opinions to mm -hmm. say what they want to say, and we should be able to express those opinions. Uh, for the last several months, I've had several thoughts and opinions about certain subjects and ideas, but I deliberately kept them quiet, uh, primarily because I didn't want to get into an argument with other people and because I didn't want to uh, express myself in a way that might be controversial on fear of the fact that some moron out there who can't handle someone's opinion uh, attacking my position at my job, if I'm being fair. Um, but I thought about it with my wife and we talked and I said, you know what, I, I'm tired of this. I want to speak my mind as well as anyone else has a right to speak their mind and basically fuck off. So yeah, that's the opinion I'm taking. Anyway, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because unfortunately there was another shooting of a young black male in Minnesota. And the media immediately went to the fact that this young black male was gunned down by a police authority for no just reason. Now, I'm talking about this Dante or Dante Wright, whatever his name is. I don't agree with the fact that this young man is dead. I don't think he should be dead. By all accounts, in the body cam footage that was provided by the Brooklyn Center Police Department, he was killed accidentally. I have questions there. However, that's not why I'm making this. Really what I'm more uh, upset about, in my opinion, is the governor interjecting his personal opinion in a tweet indicating that a young black man was yet again killed by law enforcement officers. The fact that this man has control of the National Guard in the state and that the National Guard were called out to protect the city limits and the city uh, of Brooklyn Center, their mun mun municipality building, sorry. That is a danger to do. It's not only dangerous, but it's reckless and it's foolish. He made that tweet the same day that this young man was killed with no evidence, no recourse, no information, nothing, okay? You're supposed to be the governor of the state, which means you, you are the one who's supposed to provide guidance and protection to the city, to the state. And then you come out there and make, make a comment, all right? You don't know the evidence, you don't know the facts, you weren't there, you don't know anything. You know, what you should have done as a governor maybe said, hey guys, um, I know emotions are, are high, let's keep it calm, uh, let due process, you know, you know, play out, and we can discuss as we need to. Or, hey guys, uh, there was a tragic accident between law enforcement and a young man. You don't even have to get ethnic backgrounds, but let's discuss this, let's calm down, cooler health will prevail, we'll go from here. No, instead, you jump right in the middle of the fray. And you're the one who's in control of not only the National Guard, but also the police departments around that community, as well as other communities. You've now put in danger all the police authorities within that community, as well as the surrounding communities, as well as the National Guard, since you call them in to, to provide support. Now, why would you need the National Guard? Hmm. It wouldn't have anything to do with the abundance of rioting going on. You know, because a young man was shot, so therefore that equates to let's burn down the Foot Locker, let's riot the liquor store, 
let's tear down the local Walmart because you know nothing says justice for XYZ as opposed to I don't know burn down the street for no fucking reason oh wait that happened oh it's almost like we've seen this before in Minnesota and Portland and Seattle and Chicago and Baltimore and Philadelphia and name your de jure city. You as a governor should have said something along the lines of, let's not overreact. Let's take, you know, take a moment back, back up. Let's think about this. Let's calm down. Let's dis discuss as a community. Let's figure this out. Let's not jump to conclusions. But instead, you and your political hastiness decided to not only throw every men and women under the blue badge, under a bus, but on top of it, you throw in the National Guard? You asshole. You walking disgrace. And what's really disgraceful, Governor Walt, if you ever have the chance to listen to this, which I hope you do, you know as well as I do that you were in the National Guard. And as far as I know, pretty high ranking. That is, of course, if you got past all those 18 year old cooks. You did? Prick. You know, I have to ask a question uh, about this police officer. Um, I know there's been a lot of talk going about about this man being killed, Dwight Wright, which, by the way, was not a good dude. You know, it's amazing when you resist arrest how things escalate really quickly, especially when you have a warrant, or a couple in his case, especially when you have tabs that are out of date. Don't know why the cops would stop you. You know, it's happened to me. Tags were out of date, got pulled by the police. Guess what? I didn't end up shot. And it had nothing to do with the fact that I'm a white guy versus a black dude, by the way. It's because I didn't resist arrest. And I didn't certainly try to wrestle my way back into a car. Now, the female police officer who shot him, do I think that that was abundantly stupid? Absolutely. Do I think it's uncalled for? You betcha. Do I think there needs to be, you know, some training? And definitely a serious investigation and should she be charged well that's to be seen certainly on the training but what happens when you say defund the police and they had the, they don't have the means to train their police officers okay she's a 26 you know 26 year old veteran on the force okay she should have known she should have known what was on her service belt she should have known the difference between a taser and a rifle or revolver or service weapon they have different weights, different fills, different, you know, everything. They, hell, they even look differently. She should have known. I absolutely agree. Maybe she should have had more training. But, but, let me ask you this question. Do you think, had things been calmed down within the city, had they not had an entire year of the cops being demonized because of this George Floyd case? Oh, by the way, another angel. Okay. Do you think that maybe had the city not burned for three days, had they not burned down the third precinct insurrection to anyone? Maybe, just maybe, those cops would have been a little bit more prepared, maybe not so trigger happy. Did it ever occur to anyone that maybe subconsciously, because of all the incidents that have been going on in the city in the last year, that prior to this happening, this mistake would have never been made? Is it possible that she being a human being and fearing for her life from, you know, unruly thugs, which by the way, this guy was, and I can tell you he was, and I don't even care about his, his search warrant or warrant or whatever. When you resist arrest and you fight the police, you're automatically a criminal. When they try to pull you over and give you a citation or arrest you and you fight back, you're, you are by the the fault a criminal sorry do I think he deserves to die no and I don't think he should have died and I think the excuse that she pulled the wrong service weapon is unexcusable however had we not fostered an environment of police hatred for the last year that might not have been an issue so again thank you governor Waltz and the Minneapolis City Council. Hope that defund the police goes a lot further because it's working out so well. 
Oh, by the way, George Floyd's uh, trial, the Derek Chauvin trial, can't wait to see what happens there. I'm sure regardless of the results, we'll have a peaceful demonstration. Anyway, comment below and let me know. I'll talk to you guys later.